For those of you who are unaware, Formula 2 and Formula 3 are going to have two different calendars this year. Well, this has opened up the opportunity for former Jensa Motorsport F3 driver Matteo Nanini to drive in both categories for the 2021 season. It was announced this morning that Nanini would be racing for HWA's Formula 2 team as well as their Formula 3 team. But who is Matteo Nanini? Matteo Nanini is an Italian racing driver who was born on the 10th of July 2003. He started karting at a very, very young age and joined Fernando Alonso's karting team in 2015. He had good performances in this team, uh, winning the Trofeo dei Campioni in Italy, uh, so the second competition that he has won. In 2019, Nanini attended multiple championships, including the Formula 4 Spanish Championship, the Formula Renault Euro Cup, the Formula Regional European Championship, and the Formula 4 UAE Championship, of which he won. This attracted the Genza Motorsports team's attention, who gave him a drive for the 2020 FIA F3 season. His performance wasn't outstanding, coming 18th in the championship with 11 points and one podium in the Catalonia sprint race. Apart from that, Matteo only scored one other point, obtaining this at the same weekend as his podium in the Catalonia feature. Nanini only had one retirement in the whole season, coming in the Monza feature race. Uh, his average result throughout the season comes in at roughly 20th to 24th, so not setting the world alight by any means. However, despite his lack of achievement, he still caught the eye of HWA Race Lab and given a drive in both categories, uh, F3 and F2. I just want to pause the video here and ask that, that if you are enjoying, please subscribe to the channel uh, because it helps me out a lot. Uh, thanks. So this all makes us ask the question, why race in both categories? Experience. Matteo will certainly have his work cut out for him, uh, having roughly one race every eight days this season. I personally believe that it's slightly excessive. However, if he can cope, then good on him. Also, money. Uh, Matteo has a lot of money and he will make a lot of money so it's a win-win for everyone the team and him. In Formula 2 the Italian will be lining up with fellow Italian Alessio Deleda whose results in the 2020 F3 season were catastrophic placing 34th in the standings behind four reserve drivers since there are only 30 main drivers. Deleda has never finished in the top 10 in any category in the championship, unless you count the Euro Formula Open Winter Series, which doesn't count at all in my mind, so you, can't, you cannot count that. Will these two be a strong pairing? I honestly don't think they will be, and I must say it was a surprise to me when I heard the news uh, of the pair signing this morning. Um, however, only time will tell, so I wish them luck for the upcoming season. So, what are my thoughts? Money. I, I, I believe that money has a very strong influence on everything in motorsport nowadays, and this is just another case where money... Money has always... Uh, played a factor, which is a huge shame. Deleda is slow, but he is rich. Nanini is meh, but he is rich. There are many far quicker drivers that could have had those seats. Formula 3 drivers who deserved a seat in F2 that don't yet have one include Logan Sargent, Jake Hughes, Teo Porcher, and Peroni. However, they're only a few examples I could give. But you know what they say? Money makes motorsport go round. Anyway, if you did all enjoy, please remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video uh, and smash the bell for weekly Formula One news update videos. Um, and yeah, if you do those things, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.